Hi guys, today we're going to go over a simple tutorial which is basically how to arc or make a path for your text to follow. Let's say if you have a ellipse to go over like you're looking at right here or any other feature if you want to make the text go up and down or follow just basically an outline of another feature in your design or whatever you're working on you can get it to follow the desired path. So what you see here is what I've used which is the Photoshop tutorial feature is what I've written on the top of this um, ellipse tool and these two blue bars are obviously the ruler feature which I drag down just to get a basic outline of where I want my text to go so um, the first thing is that when you want to use text to make it arc or to follow a certain path that you desire a lot of the times people think to use the um, arc feature which is built into Photoshop so if I type in Photoshop tutorial if I go up here to this T with an arc below it and I select my style as arc it will show my bend so let's say if we want to put this on the bottom we have to get a, a certain arc so that it's starting at the far left and ending at the far right now if I do this this might be this obviously you can see what's wrong with this but even if I change the text to smaller which I can do right here and if I change the bend you might get it to follow the path that you want but the only problem is that it distorts each letter so if you see this text right here on the bottom it's not flush which is what the text on top is so even though that's not the perfect angle on the bottom we probably could have tweaked it to the perfect angle but the P is distorted so that it's skewed to the left where it appears larger than the text on the rest of the Photoshop so what we're gonna do to show you is we're going to start out by, I use the ellipse tool, shortcut keyboard is U to create the ellipse that I'm going to be creating the desired path for my text. And I created this ellipse, I wrote the uh, top text on it using this method that I'm going to show you. So you're going to click the pen tool, which is the keyboard shortcut of P, and you're going to select basically where you want your text to go. So you're going to want it to arc, and let's say if I want it to start right here, I'm going to select the starting point of where I want the text to go. So I'm going to have the text wrap around to this side. So I'm basically just going to follow the path by selecting Pen Tool, clicking over here. And then I'm going to make the path just to make sure that it's even on this side. I'm going to select this side now and conform the line to fit the path as well. So now that you have your path, you don't have to do anything else. You don't have to finish it by clicking back at the starting point. All you're going to do is grab the text tool, and that's the shortcut on the keyboard is T, and you're going to show your cursor onto the beginning of the path that you created. So in this case, it's right here, and as you see, it's the I cursor with a kind of squiggly that starts up and goes down and back up. So if you see this is not what you want, you don't want to create a new text box. You want to create a text starting point on your path. So you're going to go until you see this logo right here. You're going to click it where you want to start your text. And I'm going to want to type in Photoshop tutorial. So now you can even, you know, I obviously started very soon so it doesn't is not evenly distributed, but I can hit the space bar and get it desired to where I want it. So there you go, perfect. So that's basically what the tool is and you can use it to create any different um, path any anything you want to do if we want you know something coming up here and create a path you know it starts just like that so now obviously select the text tool select where you want on the path to begin you can select anywhere on the path as long as that cursor is showing with the eye and the squiggly line and then you can have this Photoshop blah 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 so basically it's just showing the text using the path that you chose. So there's my, my text.